All righty. So, a couple, like about a year ago, I made a video on fishing for remote brook trout in a wild, well, fishing a remote stream for wild brook trout. And I'll link the video up there. And this is the same exact um, town, same exact river, just a different spot. And I'm super excited because there's different species we can catch here. So there's a little trail down to the river here. Bugs aren't bad. I'm super excited. Let's get some fish. All right, let's see what the river looks like. Right here. See what the situation is. So, got a tiny little hook here. And then I'm going to put a nice size worm to give it some weight and a good profile. And then I'm just going to cast it out into this, this giant pool right here. And I want to feel how cold the water is. And, oh yeah, it's chilly, not really cold, but my brother is gold digging, so that's pretty cool little shady spot here and I'll cast it out. Alright, nothing in those big pools. So I'm going to move down to these little rapids here and fish some smaller little pool eddies. And I feel like this is where, gonna, where they're going to be because it provides more shelter and food. So. Alright, so. We're coming up here, upstream there's some nice current, but there's some pretty big rocks and challenges that we had to go through first to get to that. So if I catch a fish, it'll definitely be worth it. Oh, yeah. There's like a... B what? There's like a five inch trout attacking my worm right now. Looks like a brown trout. Has a lighter colored skin. But not silvery like a rainbow. Right behind that rock right there. Oh, got one. Ah, oh, little creek chub. Got me excited there for a second. That's one of the smallest fish down there, so I think there's trout because I see them and they did not look like that one. So, Nothing else wanted to bite. None of those trout did. So I'm gonna move spots real quick to a spot that I've been to before so I have more experience. And I've caught fish there. See, I've never been to this spot before. So anyway, see you guys there. All right, here we go, second place. Let's check it out. The water apparently is pretty low. So, let's see how low, let's see if people are swimming in the spot where I usually fish. All right, right here is the spot. All right, so each one of these pools has a lot of trout. So,
All right, so after a long day of fishing and exploring, I caught absolutely nothing but those little creek chubs, which are starting to get really annoying. But anyways, I had a super fun day, but we still have all tomorrow and some of the day after. And tomorrow is going to be a much better day. I can almost guarantee it, and I can just feel it. But anyways, starting to wind down now, have dinner, um, and go to sleep. This is like powder that you put in and the fire changes colors. It's pretty cool. Not as strong as it used to be, but... Mystical fire. Well, good morning. <clears throat> Last night was actually pretty tough, I'm not gonna lie. I kept waking up in the middle of the night and I had trouble falling back to sleep and I didn't really feel that good. <clears throat> as you can uh, hear, probably my voice. I have probably a little cold or something like that. But anyways, I have a feeling today's gonna be much better because we have way more time. We have um more places to go to and i'm really excited so i have a feeling we're gonna get on some fish today i i just know it so anyways i'm gonna finish my coffee right here and then let's get out and let's start today all righty so there's this little spot called phillips brook and look how small it is tiny but i'm thinking there might be some fish in it because it comes out or goes into a lake that my uncle has a camp on and that has a lot of salmon and brookies. So I don't know how I'm gonna get down to be honest with you, cause I'm just gonna have to jump, I think. So this is pretty steep if you guys can't tell. <laughs> But I wonder what's in here, actually, though. All right, here we go. All right, guys, there's a fish right there in that pool. Please stay here, all right? Don't spook it. I'm gonna go back. It just jumped out of the water and stole my worm. All right. All I can say is whatever's down in that pool, I'm catching it. right in this pool. Got him. Look at that, that is cool. Let's take a closer look at this fish. Let's wet our hands. Oh, that water is cold. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Dark colors on this little guy. First fish of the trip right here in a stream that I've never fished at before. Let's let him go. Thank you so much, buddy. He was even nice enough to leave us our worm. Let's cast back out into this pool, see if there's anything else there. Yep. There was, there was a tiny little fish that just came out and grabbed it, but then I lost them. So. Got one. Huh. Oh, quick release, he's a little guy. You can see them, they're hiding under the rocks. You can see them just come out from under and snatch it. All right, had some success at this spot, but now I think we're gonna move on to another stream. All right, well, on the way back upstream, I just cast into a little pool and I caught this, uh-oh, well, that fish. So, ah, here we are. One of my secret spots. Like, I mean, this spot, I don't think I've ever, ever gotten skunked here. So, even though I have caught a couple of fish already, I think this will just be even better. 
Look at this. So cool. All right. Perfect. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start in this pool right here. All right, there's usually a fish or two under that rock. I tell ya. Oh, came off. There we go. That's a good one, that's a cool one. Let me show you guys. <sighs> Always wet your hands when you're handling trout. Especially if you're releasing them, because it keeps their outer layer kind of healthy and come on. Look at that beauty. Send them back right where he came from. Perfect. Down in the depths. All right, there's one right down there. So, I'm gonna back up a little bit, give him some space, and cast down in there. There we go. Got him, oh. Had him on. Maybe there's another one. There we go. Ooh, pretty one. Had to hike pretty far for this one, but fishing's a little slower than usual, I'm not gonna lie. This is a beauty though. He's bleeding a little bit, but it just it is in in his gills, so it should be fine. But beautiful, beautiful fish. Yeah, he's fine. Been fishing for about a couple hours now, maybe two hours, and I've only caught, I've gotten a lot of them, but I've, I haven't landed. I've only landed about like five fish. So here we go. I got a guy told me about this spot. He said you should go check out downstream. There's a oh oh, just had another bite. Oh, there we go again. Little guy. Right after. Looks like this pool is loaded with them. Here, buddy. I'm gonna let you go. Don't worry. If I did, even if I did want to keep you, you're too small. Oh, there he goes. Slippery. Right in that current. I bet there's about five of them. Just stacked up all right there. Waiting for stuff to come down. And then when food comes, they just smack it. All right, so the river is said to be low, but if it's deep enough, we can go cliff jumping. So check out the situation and let's see if it's safe or not. I mean, these cliffs are just so cool. It's like, one of the most famous things here. Look at these rock formations. Look at that, so cool. So the, one of the best things about this spot is that there's different levels. Like down there, it's only like five to seven feet. Right down there on that ledge, it's probably about 10 feet up here. It's probably about 20, 30, 40, and then there's like a 50 foot right there. But.
You go first. Whoa, look, 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 look at the fish. Jeez. Oh, wow. So this light is bright. But anyways, that wraps up. That pretty much wraps up day two of uh out here in the woods so i'm gonna go to sleep right now i had an amazing day tonight i knew we were gonna get on some fish because we could explore some um areas that we couldn't yesterday just because of time and tomorrow i'm waking up bright and early to go fishing at a spot that i think will be good so anyways i'll meet you guys then and yeah well good morning so i woke up really early this morning and decided to go and be the first one on the river which i am i have the whole river to myself and so yeah i'm just gonna fish a lot until pretty much we have to go this afternoon so i have high hopes of having a fish i ran out of worms which is which kind of stinks but i have spinners and that's probably my second best option anyways so I don't know, I'm gonna be pretty much fishing all down the river and up the river and see if I get anything. All right, so I am fishing this cliff right now into the giant pools that we actually rock jumped off. So um, since we saw a few fish there yesterday, I might as well uh, figure to come back here and see if I could get anything there. But anyways, I need to tell you about something that happened yesterday. Two things actually big happened yesterday. So remember that giant fish that Lath, my brother, saw in the water? went back right after that and grabbed my fishing rod and reel and cast it down and i just totally forgot to tell you guys yesterday i got him and he was at least a three or four pound brown trout i'm not even joking it was huge it would have been the biggest trout of my life i mean that thing was it had a giant belly on it and it, it was a brown or a salmon it was like a silvery brown i think because there's not many salmon in here but uh it might have been a salmon you never know it was at least three or four pounds. It was like the biggest, one of the biggest fish I've caught in my life, period. Then I brought about halfway up this cliff right here, and then it fell off. It didn't even break my line. It just, it just bent the hook. It was the most heartbreaking thing in the world since, like, the fishing has been so tough here. To get one fish like that would have just made my whole trip. But anyways. Oh, yeah, and also I shattered my GoPro to pieces because it fell off a cliff. All right, well, that is it for the the camping episode in Maine. And I had so much fun. I was able to get on some fish. I was able to lose some fish. I was able to lose some gear. So that was great and not great at the same exact time. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I am in my at my grandparents' house right now in Maine also. And we're going to be doing some bass fishing maybe. So... Look out for that because I'm super excited for that. Hope you guys are as well. So look out for more videos to come. We are just getting started this summer and it's already been amazing. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.